Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we will be doing the detailed review of the new OnePlus 11R. Now, OnePlus 11R was launched alongside the OnePlus 11, the flagship device for uh, OnePlus uh, globally. But OnePlus 11R is a device which is available only in India right now. Now, this is powered by the last year Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip and uh, you get uh, quite similar hardware, although the cameras are different. But the important aspect about the OnePlus 11R is the price. At 39999 you get the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip, uh, the uh, triple camera set of the 50 megapixel uh, Sony IMX sensor you get, then uh, you get uh, a great uh, fluid AMOLED 120Hz refresh rate, then great uh, uh, design, the, it has the exact same design as the OnePlus 11 and you get 5000 milliamp hour battery and 100 watt charging. So it's a really power packed device but how does it turn into real world experience that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So before getting into the video if this is your first time on this channel do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin the detailed review of the oneplus 11r so first let's talk about the design elements now the oneplus 11r has almost similar design as that of oneplus 11 you get the circular camera layout and the glossy finished uh, camera now the camera layout is definitely uh, refreshing design personally i like this design and it is pretty slim and compact as well you get curved edges on either sides the back panel is curved and also the front that display is also curved so you get good in hand feel on this device and the weight distribution is very good there is premium use of material the glass finishing the matte finish uh, on the back uh, along with the oneplus logo looks great there are two colors available the silver and the black uh, we personally like the black because we have been testing this and the camera layout everything looks very premium uh, in terms of design language and it's pretty compact as well uh, the, uh, the overall uh, build quality fit and finish uh, and everything looks great and it's also protected by Corning Gorilla glass so you get uh, the best experience in terms of design and build quality and it actually feels very similar to the oneplus 11 in terms of design so design is definitely one of the strong points of this device it's an attractive design and it feels very uh, good in hand so premiumness is definitely there along with uh, the curved edges it does give a great uh, in hand experience so that's the design elements now talking about uh, uh, the display now this device again comes with the full HD resolution display uh, it's a 120 Hz uh, AMOLED display the fluid AMOLED display we have seen on uh, OnePlus devices while uh, the OnePlus 11 comes with an LTPO uh, 3.0 display here you don't have an LTPO uh, display in fact uh, we have an ADFR 2.0 display now the difference here is that uh, you may not get uh, the 1 to 120 Hz refresh rate but instead you get multiple uh, refresh rate option uh, like 40, 45, 60, 90 in the 120 so there are different options available but it's not an uh, LTPO 3.0 display but never mind uh, this is excellent display you get great colors uh, HDR 10 plus support there's no Dolby vision on this but it's a really good display out there great colors great touch response and the curved display also gives a premium feeling of a flagship device it doesn't actually feel like a, a 40k device it does uh, feel uh, really premium uh, along with that uh, you get uh, nice uh, colors uh, the color gamut is really good uh, DCI-P3 and and the display uh, colors are very vibrant crisp and even the brightness levels are also really great so even outdoor visibility seems very good so uh, in terms of display experience we feel this is definitely one of the best displays out there in this price segment and the display resolution is 2772 uh, by 1240 that's a display resolution on the oneplus uh, 11 r so display is the, again a great aspect of uh, the oneplus 11 r Next, let's move on to the software. Now, software is one thing uh, which uh, we might already know that uh, uh, OnePlus uh, has this Oxygen OS. Now, Oxygen OS 13 is more like the color OS. In fact, it is uh, more or less uh, based on the color OS. Now, talking about the software experience, it has Android 13 and uh, the Oxygen OS 13. Now, it does come with uh, packed with a lot of experience. Uh, now, there is a very clean interface. That's one thing I liked about this interface. There is no unwanted apps installed. Uh, very clean uh, and uh, uh, the experience is definitely good you get plethora of options and uh, if you go to the settings uh, you can see that uh, it does offer great experience overall uh, in terms of additional features uh, you get uh, the option to customize your device there are special features like split screen flexible windows uh, you get a smart sidebar 
kids space uh, simple mode and if you want to customize there are a lot of additional options uh, in uh, the wallpaper and style you get always on display theme support uh, you can change the colors fingerprint animation is there edge lighting is there so uh, there are there are plenty of options available and the, you can see that ui experience is very neatly arranged that's one of the good things about the, this ui it's very clean uh, interface uh, uh, with uh, without any sort of uh, third party unwanted apps installed very clean interface even the notification toggle also looks great so personally i like the oxygen os 13 experience even though it has a lot of inspiration or more or less looks like color os this is definitely one great experience even the memory management and the response time is very good on this device and with on oneplus you get the promised update cycle so you don't have to worry about updates and this actually comes with the latest android version as well so that's the software experience let's move on to the performance now this is powered by the snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 chip with up to 16 gigs of ram you get 8 gigabyte ram and 16 gigabyte ram it is powered by the the most powerful ram out there lpddr 5x ram now the storage is ufs 3.1 it's not a ufs 4.0 like the one plus 11 but never mind it's really fast in terms of experience you get a 128 gigabyte storage as well as 256 gigabyte storage and the performance is really good we have in fact done a performance testing of this device you can check out that video we found that the performance is really stellar in day to day experience be it browsing gaming uh, it has a great performance uh, the snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 uh, does really great in terms of that uh, experience if we did the uh, couple of gaming tests on this device and we found that it is pretty satisfactory experience even in terms of gaming as well so overall in terms of day-to-day -day experience uh, there is hardly any issues uh, no heating issues and uh, more or less uh, very satisfying experience in terms of performance now talking about the other aspect um, uh, the fingerprint scanner fingerprint scanner as usual uh, from oneplus is very fast here also you get a very fast and responsive fingerprint scanner and also face unlock is very fast on this device Next, moving on to the haptics. Now, haptics is one thing uh, a lot of you have been asking us. Uh, we found that uh, the haptics are pretty good. There is O haptics, uh, which is OnePlus uh, haptics uh, engine, and uh, you get uh, really great haptic feedback on this device as well. So, in that aspect also, we don't see any sort of issues. In terms of speaker experience, uh, you get dual stereo speakers, uh, and uh, the experience once again is very good. It's very loud actually. The speaker output is good, especially if you are watching movies. You get a really great experience with the speaker. Now talking about the 5G and call experience, uh, it does come with support for 5G. You can uh, use any 5G SIM card in India and uh, we didn't see any sort of issues. We tested with Geo, Airtel and uh, Vodafone because we don't have Vodafone uh, with 5G, we tested with 4G. But Airtel and uh, Geo, we didn't see any sort of issues. The call quality was good and the signal strength also was very good. So in terms of calling experience, there is no issues absolutely. Next let's move on to the cameras. Now we have a triple camera setup uh, like the OnePlus 11. But but the camera system is different here we have a primary uh, sony imx 890 sensor uh, this is uh, the 50 megapixel sensor with f 1.8 aperture uh, you get a really great experience with the primary sensor now the secondary and third sensors are the like 8 megapixel uh, ultra wide and the 2 megapixel macro that's where things are not so great and you get the 16 megapixel selfie camera now we have done the detailed camera review of this device uh, we have that video on our channel so we have analyzed all the aspects of uh, of the camera and found that the primary camera is a capable one the sony imx 890 sensor does a pretty good job in terms of daylight condition the colors are good there is good amount of details uh, for a 40k device uh, the low light experience is also quite good the portraits are kind of okay uh, and uh, the close-up shots uh, uh, and overall uh, experience with the primary camera is pretty good but the 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera was kind of very much average the same is the case with the macro sensor which was very much average experience so uh, the selfie experience is also good you get uh, uh, 4k 60 fps optical image stabilization is also there so video recording is also good so everything looks good except for the ultra wide angle camera which is average and macro camera which is kind of disappointing i would say it was uh, very very much uh, basic experience uh, with the 2 megapixel camera so cameras are good except for the uh, secondary and third camera the primary camera is good and so is the selfie experience so if you're not really worried about the ultra wide and macro then uh, you get a pretty good experience with the primary camera so that was the camera experience and in case you want more details do check out our camera review which we uploaded two three days back 
Now moving on to the battery life. Now you get a 5000 milliamp hour battery with 100 watt charging and uh, the charging time is around approximately around uh, 30 minutes and in that time uh, 30 to 35 minutes you can charge the device uh, fully from 1 to 100 percentage using the 100 watt charging. So charging is good and there is also battery health engine which helps in uh, improving the battery life and uh, keeping the battery safe almost even after 3 years of usage uh, you won't see any sort of major issues that's the one claim by OnePlus. Now the battery performance is once again very stellar uh, we tried uh, uh, the battery performance and in our testing we got around uh, 6 to 7 hours on an average on this device that's an average testing again this depends upon uh, person to person the apps I tested I got 6 to 7 you may get a different value but on an average you can expect around 6 to 7 in between 6 to 7 hours of screen on time which is a pretty good uh, uh, battery performance I would say so that's the battery life of the OnePlus 11R so uh, this is our detailed review of the OnePlus 11R. So summing up, uh, what are the pros and cons? The pros include good design, good build quality, uh, good displays on offer, great performance, good software experience and good battery life as well. So what are the cons of this device? Probably the only con I could think of is the cameras. That's the uh, secondary and the third camera. That's the ultra wide and macro. Those are kind of average experience. But uh, remember the primary camera is still a capable uh, camera for 40k uh, pricing. So that's the only downside I could think of on this device. Otherwise, this is a very solid uh, package. In fact, this is a really great package at this price segment. At 39999, you probably won't get a really powerful and uh, uh, all-in-one device uh, at this price segment. And you also get card offers wherein you can get almost 1000 rupees discount, uh, bringing the effective pricing to uh, less than 40,000 rupees. Uh, so that's a great value, I would say. And if you're looking for a, a powerful smartphone where there is not much of compromise, this is definitely a great device to buy. And we'll share the link in the description of this video. So that was our experience with the OnePlus 11R. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.